Hello, welcome to AFJ TV. In this episode, Dr. Courtney Bolenbrettel of the Wisconsin Equine Clinic shows us how they set up for a general anesthesia MRI examination, and then shows the process for interpreting the MRI data. So these are MRI images um, of the front foot of a horse and this horse ha we have some concerns about uh, the navicular bone and the navicular region. These are two different types of scans which allow us to focus on different types of tissue. So this scan here has been treated um, with a particular sequence allowing us to focus specifically on fluid. So we're looking for bright white areas. This type of scan here is more of an anatomical type of scan, so looking at the appearance of the bone. Um, this is a tendon here, looking for changes within our tendon, and we can actually click through and evaluate each sequence depending on what we're looking for. We can also complement this particular image with a similar image but sectioned differently. So this foot's been sectioned sideways. This foot's been sectioned parallel to the ground. And so now we're looking at cross sections. Here's our tendon here. Here's our tendon here. And I can correlate depending where I am. I can say, okay, well, I'm right about here on this horse and looking for different changes. Here's a mild change here in the horse's bone. We've got a little bit of change in the consistency of the marrow cavity. Uh, this is actually the navicular bone starting to come in and we're starting to see the actual shape of the navicular bone, looking for changes in that particular navicular bone. And if we come down, no, we're not gonna see it. This horse's problem is right on the bottom edge of his navicular bone but this particular treatment isn't the best to see that. And so, you know, we choose which one we want to look through. And uh, the way that we handle this is Dr. Langer or I are supervising the MRI while it's being obtained. Often we'll be looking at the images, but the final say we ship or we send the images to Dr. Um, Natasha Werpe, who is based out in Colorado and she, uh, she gives us the final say. So she does a very aggressive report. She has ways she can link the images so that as she's going through in one dimension, the other dimensions are changing as well. For more information on the work conducted at the Wisconsin Equine Clinic, you can visit their website at wisconsinequineclinic.com, Wisconsin Equine Clinic being one word. Until next time, thanks for watching.